my name is Martin and welcome back to another video Wednesday night video and the reason it's a Wednesday night video is because I'm just going to do a quick update on the previous video that I did on Baiting's Reservoir because that's where we are today there's the dam and the water has gone even lower so I'm going to just update you and show you how it's changed now gone mid-September we have had some rain but obviously not enough and the water levels despite that have continued to go lower so couple of things, couple of extra things that have revealed themselves. So I'm going to walk up the reservoir uh, and I'm going to show you what's emerged now from the, the, the plummy depths of the reservoir. So come with us, me and Roy. Uh, Roy's going to get you some good shots in a minute um, down in the mud. A few comparison shots for you here. My original video was made end of August and as you can see here we've still got water under the bridge. The bridge, the little bridge in the foreground is normally completely submerged underwater in the reservoir but you can see there that's the river Ryburn and it's still at a certain height. Now late September which is this video you can see the Ryburn has almost completely dried up. You can see the water levels there Snap back to late August and you see we've got water levels, quite a bit of water still underneath the bridge as you can see there, you know, you can't go wading in it, it's quite, uh, you wouldn't go paddling in that. But now, late September and everything has completely dried up, look at that for comparison. Of course it gave Roy um, an excuse to go uh, walking underneath the bridge which was something he wanted to do. So if you visited the site, there you go, there's your shots underneath the bridge. A bit dangerous down there in the mud, uh, Roy's a bit mad, so I wouldn't advise you go down there. Some quite deep mud down there, they don't need to get stuck in it. So you were right, um, we, uh, I spotted one of the Mason's Marks, that one, but I do after you all pointed them out, I now realise there's many more Mason's Marks on the bridge. So yeah, that was me getting excited over one and then running away instead of studying the, uh, the subject properly. So just as I'm wandering around the dam, we've bumped into somebody who watches the videos. I Martin. Know, Martin, yeah. Another Martin. Anyway, Another Martin. found some um, clay pipe stems. Clay pipe stems, probably found... How many have you got, Tony? 20? Let's have a look what you've got. Plenty of stems. Yeah. I, that I, might be part of a bowl. Oh yeah, it might. oh it is in it bottom end yeah. of a bowl. Oh definitely. So where have you found them just scattered around? Over near um, where all those ex the bits of the buildings are. All oh, right, Up yeah. Here on your left, right, down far end. Oh, I'll have to have a scout round there. Yeah, beautiful. It's so about... we're not sure. Please don't get stuck in there. It's not. It's, <laughs> it's quite um, rocky. Is it? Yeah. That's what it tells you. Here. That's what it tells you, but you know. <laughs> right. right, so he's getting a shot of that, what we think is a little weir. It wouldn't have been a weir, but it might have just been a, a step. Like I was just saying to those people, then just chatting to some people, you'd have thought we have had some rain. Wouldn't have thought it would go even lower, but it has done. I probably can't get any lower than this now. Um, no. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look uh, just along uh, past the, the other bridge and because uh, I think something else has been revealed so so from the bridge you can just see the wall down there and you can imagine can't you people sat on that when it was a proper valley having picnics overlooking the uh, river Ryburn all right another comparison shot again late August 2022 considerable amount of water still in the bottom of the reservoir and then you'll see in the next shot um, what it's like now Now would you look at that, the reservoir is giving up more of its secrets now. I have to thank Sue Kent for taking this picture, I think it was around about middle of September, September the 17th, 18th, but you'll see something now appearing just out of the murky depths. And when I went it was even more revealed, so let's go and take a look, a closer look at that. 
like I say, the reservoir that keeps on giving. There's like a jetty down there. Incredible. Now, was that was that there when they started the scheme off and started to flood the valley, or is it original? We'll go down, see how far, how near we can get to it, and take a look. But down now, the reservoir at this point behind the camera is completely flat. We've just got a mud flat, basically. Okay, quick word of warning: both sides to that jetty are extremely steep and really muddy don't go if you do go down there don't go too near it because if you slip in the water there you ain't going to get out that easy it's really difficult to it would be difficult to get out so we stayed up here where we were it's a bit like a pipe bridge yeah you and it because can you see there's actually nothing under the mud you'll probably go on it and fall through all right yeah you know yeah so it's, it's uh get down to probably it. treacherous to go looking but uh Looks like a pipe bridge of some sort. Maybe, maybe, I'm not saying definite. So I'm saying pipe bridge, maybe some sort of sluice mechanism that controlled the flow of the river that was originally down in this little valley. Who can tell? Um, but you can see just how deep we are now in the reservoir. Uh, so, you know, we've got to lose a lot of water before this reveals itself. We're really down now in the depths of the reservoir. So it's fascinating to be able to see this uh, reveal itself as well. So yeah, this is normally well, well submerged underwater, this thing. Brilliant to see it. Now on the original video I did, um, the, um, the old maps revealed that there was a footbridge down around the point where we are now. So I'm looking for evidence of this uh, footbridge which hasn't yet revealed itself and whether it will or not, I don't know, but I'm looking for signs of a path that may have gone down to it. The footbridge was maybe around here. I can't tell but because I've not got the map with me. We found what looks like a little walkway. You, you're, you tell me because I might be wrong. And then there's some pegs in the, uh, in the reservoir going downwards. So whether this is the start of a path and maybe some steps that went down to the footbridge in the valley that was here, I don't know. Do you have a look at this? So was that two little walls that went down here? Maybe some, I don't know, you imagine some steps, don't you, or something? And then uh, what the, the pegs are, I don't know, in the wood there. Well, they're original, they are original and they're, they're old. Then maybe it came up over on that side it's difficult to tell isn't it well then again i may have changed my mind because there's, there's a, a what remains of a wall and on the other side there's remains of another wall and you can see an indentation in the land let me show you there's your wall that went up there you may or may not be able to see there's an indentation there and this come all the way down here towards the bottom of the valley there's another remains of a wall there and then it runs downwards there to where those trees are. So whether that was the footbridge is down there. We need more water to disappear, don't we? Got the original trees, haven't they, them? Yeah. Coming through. Sorry. So I did a little piece of the camera there by the concrete block where the lady stood there in blue. And you can see this was all full of water. Uh, and it's uh, no longer... Okay, there you go. I thought I'd do a quick 10 minute update video and show you how the reservoir has changed and the water level's gone even lower. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye for now.